What's crack, lady fam? What's crack, ladies? Your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk on the show, and just for you, fam. Just for you, fam. This little show is gonna be about a video I watched about a half an hour ago. I just woke up about 45 minutes ago, fam. And, um, you know, Unk gotta take his naps. You know what I'm saying? Always throw your little nap in when possible, fam. Don't let these fools work you to death, you know, sneak no naps in. If you can sneak a nap in at work, sneak a nap in at work. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you ain't nothing but a number to these people here. Because once you pass away, you don't get someone else to take your place. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because you have a job. You know what I'm saying? It's not your own. Well, anyway, fam. This little show is going to be about um this little roly-poly ex-cop from um, Compton. You know, um, Reggie Wright Jr. Reggie Wright Jr.'s name is, yeah. You know, Reggie Wright Jr. This dude talks smack, you know what I'm saying? He says lots of good things, he's very truthful in lots of things, and um, he's knowledgeable because he has been there around the era of the death row time, right? But um, the video I saw a couple minutes ago was he's talking about Billy Garland, Billy Garland Sr. Billy Garland Sr.'s Tupac's Shakur biological father, his biological father, right? Okay, the story goes on, you know, back in the days, in the early 70s, like that, dude, this was true. When he was talking, I was feeling it. It was like, it was bringing me back to when I was a little kid. You know, so I'm a couple years older, Pops, so what he's saying, it was like, boom, boom, boom. Talk about the Black Panther Party, you know, say, especially in New York City. This going, this going 21, something like that, when I was a little kid. He had also, ways talking about things. He had also, back in um, the early 70s, a lot of y'all don't know about this. Y'all trying to have pan, what, pan-African, all this other stuff, dude, but always mentioning, um, the Black Panther Party. Black Panthers, Black Panthers, Black Panthers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the Black Liberation Army? Yes, the Black Liberation Army that we had there. These dudes were rough. They're doing bank robbery. They're just going out to the police. Every goddamn thing, you know what I'm saying? Those was um, the last real street soldiers that black people had. You know what I'm saying? That's what Billy Garland comes from, a Phoenix Court comes from. No Tupac and his family, his brother, everybody they come from that this inside their DNA, right? But um sloppy um Reggie was talking about talking about Billy Garland. That's what I mean. Look at the guy. They told him um, he's a sperm donor. He told him a deadbeat daddy sperm donor. He said, um, Tupac fans know Tupac more than his father do, right? I'm just not like, damn, you come on, come harder to do deal, saying, right? I was like, who you smack you talking? Because um, Tupac wasn't around death row for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Everybody tried to have some kind of, di some kind of dynasty. Oh, I'm gonna let my dream little my tea fan. Because I get that lemon grass tea up for you. It's a good lemon grass fan. Mm -hmm. I first taste him out of the camera. Good stuff there, right? So he tried to make up the man look real bad. Come a sperm dog and things like that. He ain't saying he never done nothing for Tupac. Okay, boom. So now I sat down on here. What this man got doing? He got his own interviews. So he got an interview out there with, um, I think it was Del Rey. Yeah, Del Rey got on um, Straight Game. And I believe all this, they said his name on the Art of Dialogue, but sometimes the voice sounds different. You can change his goddamn voice on the same do or not. Let me know, Del Rey. Put him down the same view, the same doing Art, Art of Dialogue. That's what he named it, right? Well, anyway, right? He get a good interview to somebody on Art Dialogue, you know what I'm saying? And um, Tupac Pops was like, he was with them until about the age of three. I guess things start breaking up. He got another woman. People start getting killed. And there's dance for black people get assassinated back in days, you know. Especially in the summer of 68 and stuff like that. Yeah, come on now. And um, he lost touch with his woman. Lots of people do that. They, they lose touch. The kid gone. She moved from New York City. You know, she went to Maryland, then to Oakland. This is not back like the internet days. We could type in um, a feature call. And all of a sudden, you get some white page come out. You have her last three known addresses. You can do things like that. You couldn't do that back in the day. That was it. It was it. You know what I'm saying? We had the um, ones called the yellow page. Remember back in the days for the old heads? I'm really still, I'm really still got down. I doubt it. That's we had. We had our phones. We had a, and every year they come bring you a yellow page book. I remember a big one, right? So if you was inside the other pages, you ain't getting goddamn found. Just like that. And she must not have been want to be found. Huh? She, that's where she's moving, right? But I'm going to call a man uh, a deadbeat sperm daddy when um, Tupac was gone. He don't know where his son at. No matter what, what the situation is, he's gone. He don't know where his son at. The all say finds out that he's making movies. Right? He say he goes to the movie there, sit there and watch movies, start crying. Start crying. He says, son, he's a son, man. You know, he got this 
sloppy as do ready will call do a sperm donor. Like I said, death row didn't last no goddamn I mean, about three three years for them really doing something. You know what I'm saying? Tupac passed away in what 96, September 96, September 13th, 96. Yes, because I was home when I was in I was in Harlem that night. Yeah, yeah, I was in Harlem that night. And um, he didn't so death Tupac wasn't on with the death row crew that long, about a year and a half till he got killed. You know what I'm saying? A year and a half, two years the most he was around that then. So how you know what someone knows, Reggie? You know what I'm saying? He fired Reggie. It was like he was homies. He was we should. You see those hundred pictures you see with him um, hugged up with sloppy Reggie. I didn't see none. I ain't seen none. But for him to go so passionate, this man, I was like, it was to me it was like a, a old woman, you know, an old bitter woman. What is so bitter for? If he didn't know his pops. And so what? He's on there talking about there, right? And how you wanna jump on the huge dumb guy's side when these punk dudes in made a documentary just twisting things around, you no know, twisting things around, twisting words around, you no know, call Tupac some kind of um, was he bipolar? All, you know, all this kind of stuff they try to put salt in the game, have Tupac whip both of their butts. Little punk dudes did, you know, the Hughes brothers. You know what I'm saying? Now they wanna come back once a man dead and wanna make money off him. You know what I'm saying? And Sloppy Reggie condoning this shit there. Cause Sloppy Reggie, you know, he was he was another one you gotta watch him. Cause he was infatuated with Tupac. They said they raided on um, Fat Reggie Crib. They busted the marijuana charges and all that there. They said his um he had like a shrine in his house. Like Tupac shit, memorial pictures and all that shit, candles inside his garage. This dude sitting there praising Tupac, praying to Tupac at night. You no, know, probably sitting there butt naked, oiled up, you no, know, <laughs> inside his own garage, you know, praying to Tupac, right? But they don't call you like they want to hate him. He's a sucker. He's a real sucker. He ain't doing always good as we, 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 what we did, we this, we did this. Man, you ain't no goddamn shit, man. I don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody might smack you because you're your father, policeman. That's all that was, you know what I'm saying? You ain't holding no weight. Definitely ain't holding no weight. Look at see, he ain't holding no weight, no kind of power. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not. But why hit on um, Billy God? You know what I'm saying? Listen to Billy God's story, it sounds more correct. What he's saying, he tell you back in the days that happened. He lost touch with his kid. He can't find him. You know what I'm saying? See him with juice. They say he gets shy, he flies out there. You know what I'm saying? If he didn't love his son, we fly out there. Huh? No. This man looks just like goddamn Tupac. <laughs> he looks like Tupac. And that's what he said. He doesn't look like a fiend. He does not look like a fiend. Oh, he looks like his mother. He looks like, look like his father more. He looks like more. Look more like his father. As you see that his father loves him. You know what I'm saying? You can never question another man's love for his child if you're not that man. And you don't know this whole situation. You only know Tupac for one year, and he fired your fat sloppy butt. You know what I'm saying? But now you want to sit there and make videos. Call Billy Garden um, the deadbeat sperm donor. You no, know, just because your pops was good, you know. Mr. Reggie Wright Sr., and he, he stayed there with your moms and everybody and raised you right. Salute down Reggie Wright Sr. But Reggie Wright Jr., you big sloppy punk. You know what I'm saying? You should be so um, trying to put this man's name down. Stop jocking the Hughes brothers, because you know that the Tupac didn't like the Hughes brothers. So if you was really down with Tupac, you wouldn't be wrong with the Hughes brothers too. You know what I'm saying? You was a sucker. You was the type of dude that them probably just go to the highest bidder. You know what I'm saying? So who got the most power? That's the one you're going to go to. You're a sucker. You're going to be like no real G like us who's going to go to the underdog side. We're going we, we to run to where the, the whole group is everybody running to them, you know what I'm saying? We go to the underdog side and prove the real Jesus out there. This dude is sorry, he's a sorry piece of, you know, he's a sucker. Like I say, he's a sucker for doing something like that there, trying to dishonor, you know, just make Billy Garn look bad. You can't do that, Chuck. You can't do that. This man, he's told it is. You got millions of brothers out there who will listen to Billy Garn interview me. His explanation, and we're like, yeah, that's true, man. You know, females is doing nowadays, things don't change. Bitter woman, they'll take your kid, forget you, and go on. And you don't know, but then you look there as a deadbeat daddy. Why? Because they're going to tell, they, tell their son, oh, your father ain't shit. He left you. If he wants you, he would be here. They'll put so much stuff inside your child's brain to make your child you know not like you. You know what I'm saying? Just like a Feeney did with Tupac. You no, know, running lots of mess in his head. Don't act like a fish core. You no, know, say we know she's a, she just she his mom's his queen, but still, woman is a woman. Don't try to put her some goddamn like she's um Harriet Tubman or something like that. You know, say no, 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 no. She did what she did, and she was wrong for what she did. But tell the two back that his pops is dead. 
He hit someone to him. My, my father's a coward and all that stuff like this. And he got to listen to this shit. Like, God damn, this box. I'm a coward. Why? No, because once he hit things like that, he going to know automatically that the mother is you no know, told some shit to him. Say he's dead. Say he's dead. After um, he got shot and everything. I think the death certificate or some shit, but the mother father there. Ain't gonna put his name there. She worrying about the money. She think Billy gonna go try to pop out of out of out of baby out of 15 years. Now he gonna want some money. If he did want some money, so what? He's the father that got the baby and you. And she lied and said that he was dead. You know what I'm saying? But he said he didn't want no money. He wasn't thinking about no money. He was thinking about his son. She was thinking about the money. You know what I'm saying? Which should not have said nothing wrong about thinking about the money because that's your son. But um, she still lied to this man. Told him that a lie to get to him, to this man, to that little boy, that the father's um, dead. Huh? That's a goddamn shame. Just imagine how many little kids walk around thinking that their father's goddamn dead and probably walk right by him every goddamn day doing him and no fam. That's some foul stuff there. Yeah. A fiend she a fiend she caught what she done was foul by lying, telling Tupac her son that his father's dead. You know what I'm saying? And Reggie Wright, you fat sloppy um crooked cop, drug dealing cop, you know what I'm saying? You was wrong too for trying to make Billy Carl look bad, come with some kind of sperm donor, and the fans know more, act like he was wrong with Paco for five, ten years, to act like he was one of the outlaws, Napoleon, you know, somebody in the idiot, somebody who's been wrong with him for a long time. Whatever, if they say something like that, you might, you, you might listen a little more. What's a little chump do like Reggie Wright, trying to call somebody home, um, a deadbeat sperm donor for some guy he don't know for one goddamn year, and then when he get busted, he got a whole shrine of Tupac stuff in there, posters and every goddamn thing, him laying in the bathtub and shit there. This dude, Reggie, these are these little fucking freaky fam, and I'm out. Peace.